How you doing, guys? Hi. Today is Saturday, December 7th, all day. All right. And this week, we have a bunch of different unboxings for you. A bunch. So, yeah. First thing is, well, not a bunch, but... We got a good variety. A good variety of different stuff. Uh, first thing I'd like to mention is, we're filming on new cameras this week. Uh, we got new Samsung S10s that have, I think it's like 16 megapixel cameras on them. Has 4K, Dolby Atmos, all that good stuff on them for watching stuff. But because my editing software that I use only films, oh well, processes in 1080, it's still going to be 1080. I can't do 4K videos for you until my <laughs> cheap ass actually pays for editing software because I use fr the free one. But Free is for me. Yeah, me too. So hopefully we can still look a little bit better and a little bit clearer. Maybe you could see that we look a little bit worse now because we look a little bit clearer. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we look worse because we yeah. there you go. But uh, we're just going to dive right in. I'll show you the stuff that we got. They just want to see your, wait, they just want to see your no, packages? No. Yeah. They just want to see the titles that we got. Edit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the f I got stuff from Macari, Cinema Sickness, Booth Babe Greg, another one from Macari, and my November Horror Pack. So we're just going to dive right in and I'll start showing you everything I got. The first thing I have is from Macari. I, when this movie came out, I, I think it was like two weeks ago, I saw it at Walmart when it came out. When it came in, we put it in that night. It was a Friday night it came in. Yeah. So and, I know what it is. Yeah. I've seen it. And uh, I saw it there and I think it was like 20 bucks. I went on Macari. And I found somebody that had one with no digital, not, uh, they just pretty much digital poached it. And they had it That's for... That's the best kind. Yeah. They had it for $9 with free shipping. Right up your alley. So, phew, I had to grab it. Finally, a bag toss. I haven't had one of those in a while. But it was a Cinderella Story Christmas Wish. We Like she said, we actually watched this. The day that it came in. It came in on Friday. That Friday night we put it in. And it was an actual enjoyable movie. It's similar to the other Cinderella stories. It's pretty much the same cookie cutter uh, story. But it's pretty much wrapped around Christmas. It's like, uh, was it Rock Camp? Camp Rock with one of the Jonas Brothers. The music in that is better than the music in this. Oh yeah, with uh, Jonas Brothers and Demi Lovato. Uh, mm. Camp Rock. The music in that was better than the music in A Cinderella Story. Yeah. yeah. It was a cute Christmas story. Yeah. The, uh, a Cinderella Story, the music was... Eh. Was kind of bad. And the main girl... Super auto-tuned, I have to say. Tone deaf? Yeah. She <laughs> has to be a horrible singer because the auto-tuning on her voice was... Off? It was... It made her sound really good. I mean... You could tell that she was super auto-tuned more than you can with Britney Spears. And yeah. with Britney Spears, you could tell she was bad. filtered. Oh, yeah. yeah. She was, her voice had to be super filtered for this movie. Yeah. But uh, it was still a, a really good movie. It's, it's a Cinderella story with a Christmas twist. Yeah. So it was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. It actually made the shelf and will be up there with my other Christmas movies. Yep. So not super excited. But excited nonetheless to have this. And like I said, you know, nice it's cool. Nice minty slip. Oh yeah, came with a nice slip. No code, don't care. And then the next thing was uh, something that we got from CS. I this think it was, was a like, special one. I messaged him and asked him if it was still available and he said yes. Yeah, it was about two weeks ago. He had, he did a, an unboxing from, I don't remember who it who it was. I think it was D's Productions, but I'm not 100%. But there was a title in there that had just a disc and the artwork. It wasn't in the case. And... Ooh, ooh, pick me. I so wanted it. Yeah, we wanted it for our son. And mm -hmm. I told Maria, I said, you know, message him. Find out how much he wants for the title. So she messaged him and asked him about the title that she wanted it for our son. 
He says, just send me the shipping, money for the shipping. I'll send you the title for free. And I said, all right, cool. You know, it's really nice of you to do that. And after he packaged it, he uh, sent us a picture of the tracking info. And he says, just so you know, when you open it, there's something extra I threw in there. I said, okay, you know, thanks a lot. So I'm going to do a little something different. And I actually filmed a segment of the unboxing of this. So roll the tape. He's not listening. Roll the tape. Yeah, Gary. Roll the tape, honey. How you doing, guys? I'm here with Gary because we get a package from Cinema Sickness to Gary Sickness. Thank you, Cinema Sickness, for your extra touches. I got a good laugh at that. But we're going to do an unbagging with Gary. He's working on his jumps. Gary from Cinema Sickness. Want to show the camera? There you go. And there's one more thing inside. Hold on. A little. I saw. Oh, we'll put that on our car. There we got. Thank you, CS. I'm sorry if that sucked. You can hold that. Want to help me? Want to help me? Put that down. There you go. Want to help? There you go. Very gentle. <gasps> Very gentle. That's your first Christmas present this year. What did we get? <gasps> oh, I put it in the case. It is Christmas Eve on Sesame Street. Thank you, Cinema Sickness. We are going to enjoy watching this one. Look. He wants the sticker. Thank you. This is Cookie Monster. Who's that? Elmo. Elmo. You want to say bye? No. <laughs> Thank you, Cinema Sickness. We'll have fun with this one. Bye. Bye. Unboxing for Cinema Sickness. Thanks a lot, Dave. We, you know, we really appreciate that. Our son. will appreciate it over and over and over. Again. And yeah, he watched it already a couple times mm -hmm. and he was super excited. And when I, when I put it in, I actually <coughs> watched this as a kid. I remember. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I watched that as a kid. That's. That's cool to so, remember that. Yeah, I want to show it once again. And it's Sesame Street. Christmas Eve on Sesame Street. Mm -hmm. So it was super cool. And it was super cool that he actually addressed it to Gary. Yeah. But as yeah, right here. Gary Sickness. I blocked out our address. But you can see he put it as Gary Sickness. Even though he spelled our son's name wrong with... It's Gary with two R's. It's still super cool that he did it. That was awesome. So, I got a little chuckle out of that. And... The movie was actually wrapped as well. It yeah. was wrapped in some holiday CS favorite paper. Yeah, in Mickey paper. And he put it to Gary from Cinema Sickness. He likes so, Mickey. He knows Mickey, you know. Yeah, and he gave us a sticker. So, super cool as a bonus yeah as a bonus so we actually took it all and packaged it nicely in the dvd so we have it with the yeah. movie so it's actually inside the case which he the... sent us an extra case yeah he actually put it in a case for us and shipped it in a bubble mailer christmas packaged addressed to gary sickness himself with a cinema sickness sticker inside of it for Gary. So that's like a I lot said, of time and extra thought and uh, care that went into it. Yeah, when we uh, started doing the unboxing and I realized he Christmas wrapped it, I'm like, at first I'm like, ah, oh, should I save it for my son for Christmas? And I'm like, 
No. It, no, because it's a Christmas movie, and so you can watch it before Christmas. So we did a segment of the unboxing, as you just saw. We've watched it at least six times already. Yeah, so he really <laughs> likes it. But that's Sesame Street. Again, thanks, Dave. Thank you. Then the next thing that I have is, again, another thing that we bought for our son. I'm Makari. I was flipping through. And I searched uh, just Christmas because I was looking at Christmas, Christmas titles, uh, decorations, ornaments, just seeing what they had just because people want to get rid of their Christmas stuff. Yeah, I side. wanted to see what, you know, what they had, if they had any good vintage stuff or anything like that. And while I was scrolling through, there was a lady that had two Christmas onesie pajamas, brand new with tags. And a movie. We just have the movie. We yeah. Don't, we don't have the adorable little footy onesie pajamas. And. It, it had a Santa on it. It was cut. Okay. And <laughs> the movie. And like I said, when we got it, we took the pajamas out because you're not going to want to see the pajamas. Nobody want, Nobody came here to see pajamas. I like the reindeer and Santa pajamas. They were cute. Yeah. But we wanted to show you the title. And it was Elf's Pets, Santa's, St. Bernard's, Save Christmas. God bless you. It's one of the Elf on the Shelf, pretty much, titles. No Chucky in a Chair or Doll in the Hall? No. <laughs> so it's, uh, it has the Elf on the Shelf and it has the St. Bernard. My son actually has the St. Bernard with the book. And this was brand new factory seal. We actually opened it because I thought something was loose inside, but it was actually a booklet. That this comes with the Blu-ray DVD and a special St. Bernard storybook. That's cute. I don't do the elf on the shelf for my two-year-old. So, and it came in a nice He's box, not gonna as you it. see right here. So, it was pretty cool that it came with the title. And the title, well, we opened it because I checked it. And then it came in a nice little booklet for him. Right now, he's still a little bit too... Little puppies on the back. He's yeah. too young to comprehend the uh, elf on the shelf. And pretty much the book. But yeah, he's like Dad. He likes to watch movies. So it's something for me and him to he watch does. at Christmas time. So happy to have that. And like I said, I paid $18 for two onesie pajamas. Brand and new this, with tags. Yeah, brand new tags. And this brand new factory sealed with tags. And... The pajamas... Alone go for at least $12. Yeah, they, well, the tag said sixteen ninety nine for each of them. I think they were Carter's. Yeah, so... I like Carter's. Yeah, so all of that for 18 bucks with free shipping, to me, was a steal. All I, day? Yeah, I, I jumped on that all day. The next package that we have is from BBG. Again, like some of this, we filmed this, so we're going to show you our footage yeah roll the tape gary hey everyone we got a package here from the wonderful greg aka bbg i am joined by the ever lovely gary because there is something here for him we have a note and yes, okay. I'm wearing my pajamas. Don't judge me, please. Turn me over. Joe, Marie, and Gary. Enjoy this movie. Yeah, right. I'm not responsible for the outcome. Ha, ha, ha. And I had to include this item for Gary. Now you can start his fun for movie collecting. Or college. That's fine, too. Oh, good. You can go to college. <laughs> Gary's busy watching Cinema Sickness. That's fine too. Anyway, enjoy the movies. Looking forward to your thoughts. Greg, BBG. P.S. I won't make Marie say it. <laughs> he wrote it though. Thank you, Greg. Gary's already diving in. So let's see what we got. Clown NATO. Okay, that's enough. Yeesh. Yeah. You shouldn't be seeing that, Gary. 
All right, Gary's already taking it out. Wow, who's that? Who's that? I'm looking for the scissors. I already put them away. You're going to have to fight through it. BBG packaged it well. or college fund? Probably more for movies. We'll Yay, worry about college yeah. later. Thank you, you like BBG. it? Oh, Gary, who's that? Uh, That's right. He says a boo. But. Thank you for the note. We'll be saving this one. Oh, yeah. And the movie. I'm interested in this cheese. I like anything put in a tornado. Mm. Comment down below if you like anything put in a tornado. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Thanks a lot, BBG. Say bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. So that is what we got from BBG. Um, like I said, when BBG, I think I messaged him or he saw something that Marie posted on Instagram for a title that I actually had a double of. If you follow me, if you follow me or Marie on Instagram, you know what the title was. I'm not gonna tell you. If BBG ever films a video, he'll show you what the title is. <laughs> if he doesn't fil film a video, then he I doesn't guess, film a video. Yeah, then I guess you'll never know. But like I said, I wanted this movie. I wanted to see it as well. J, uh, this movie originally J2H had it. He sold it to BBG, and then I traded BBG, because BBG was like, me. Let it fly off the shelf. I don't want it. It's practically hot trash. Try, yeah. and, try and enjoy it. But I loved the Sharknado films, and I love clowns. I want to see anything so, in a tornado. To me, Clownado sounded super, super cheesy and super ridiculous. This is probably as bad as uh, the Tara Reid movie. Bus, oh, bus party to hell. I've seen that. So it's probably in that same cheese factor. Wow. So I decided clowns in a tornado. I have to see what this is all about. You know, I, I just I have to watch it. I don't know. So I wanted to grab that. And then as you saw in the video, this was something because he knows that my son loves Elmo. He's like. You know, I've had this for a while. I'll, again, pay me for the shipping, and I'll send it to you. So, he sent this for my son. It's a nice, it's vintage. I know that. It doesn't, like most things, have a date on it. No, we got out a magnifying glass and checked. It does yeah. not have a date. But it's a vintage Elmo vinyl bank. It's very hard. It, it holds up. It's not, like, yeah. cheap. It says E... L M O on the back. And like I said, the money goes inside the boat. But it's super cool. There's actually money in the foot. I didn't realize it until I'm like, where is the money in here? I'm like, oh, it's in the foot. It's like a couple quarters and a penny or, or something like yeah. that. Yeah. But I just put it underwater with a toothbrush and some soapy water and I cleaned it that way. And then I took a paper towel and I wiped it off and it was like still still dirty. So it's definitely super vintage. And I I would have wanted it sent dirty so that I could like not put any abrasive cleaners on it. But, yeah, because we didn't want to lose yeah. any of the coloring on it. So Marie just... It's like... Going down. It's, it's super damaged. Hard. No edits. <laughs> no cuts here. But it's yeah. super hard. It's like hard, hard plastic. That's what she said. I did. Yeah. But uh, it's super cool. Like I said. This... Hey, if you're enjoying the video, hit the like button. <laughs> yeah. This is going into uh, our son's room. so He's going to like looking at that and hopefully yeah. it won't scare him at night. It'll be on the shelf. In his room, he actually has something from Cinema Sickness in there. That's a, a Winnie the Pooh picture. Tigger. Yeah. That CS sent 
back, I think even before he was born. Pretty close, yeah. So this will be sitting next to uh, Cinema Sickness's yep. picture that he sent before Gary was born. This will be sitting on the shelf next to it. And he'll be saying, Abu, Abu, yeah. every time he sees it. That's how he says Elmo. Abu. And then the last thing that we have. So thank you so much, BBG, for sending us that our way. Yeah, thanks a lot, uh, Greg. I really appreciate that. Didn't like he I send said. a note with it, too? I oh, yeah. I can't remember. I forgot about the note. This is why I'm here. Yeah. See? She's good for something. Oh, look, there it is. Yeah. And here's the note. I think she read it on camera. I did, yeah. But we'll read it again just in case you didn't hear it. Joe, Marie, and Gary. Enjoy this movie. Yeah, right. I'm not responsible for the outcome. Ha ha. And I had to include this item for Gary. Now you can start his fun for movie collecting. Or college. That's fine, too. Oh, good. Our son can go to college if he wants. Movie collecting. Anyway, enjoy the movies. Looking forward to your thoughts. Greg, BBG. P.S. I won't make you say it. <laughs> if you can read that, there you, you go. Right there. I'm saying it. There you go. If, if you saw our last video with what Greg uh, sent us, you know what it you is. You know what I said. But uh, there you go. Yep, yeah, we'll be saving that note. Aren't you glad I remembered he sent us another note? I know. It'll be going in our envelope with all the notes that I ever got. I'm actually going to be doing something in the movie room. I'm going to probably hang it. If anybody see my movie room tour, I'm going to hang it on, on the... On what wall space? I'm going to hang it on the closet door. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'm actually going to buy a poster size frame. And I'm actually going to frame... He's going to tack them all in there. I'm going to frame every single uh, note, note I ever got. Crane. Yeah. One paper crane. One paper crane. And all the notes that I ever got from everybody that's ever sent me anything is going to go into that frame just to... Uh, Pretty much show my appreciation for everybody ever that we sent got me. like a variety. We got one from almost everybody. Yeah, so to get to get a, a note, you know, a bunch of notes from people. Like I said, I appreciate That's everything, nice. and I've saved every single one, even pre doing videos when I got stuff from Absolute Sublime, and he sent me a note. I still have them, mm -hmm. and again, all of that will be going into a poster board when I have that finished and complete. I'll actually throw it at the end of the video and uh, show you it. I forgot what this month's horror pack is because it was sent last month. Yeah, but this is our November horror pack. They're all Blu-rays. They're all Blu-rays, as everybody knows that's been watching my videos for a while. And there's I mean, the one box pass. Yeah. There's the one limited edition numbered. Yeah. Uh, at the beginning, they weren't doing the... The limited every month, but lately, probably the, this year, I know this year, every single month has had a limited one. But I've gotten the Blu-rays since the first... Day one. Day one, since the first month they started this. I've always wanted a subscription service. And one for horror... I bet you if they had a Christmas subscription, you'd sign up. Oh yeah, I would. All day. But them having <laughs> a horror Blu-ray subscription one, I was jumping on that. So, <laughs> the first title that we have is... As every month, Marie's going to dive in and dig into it. And it is... Oh. A movie that's not so good. I, the, I've seen the The, the original, yeah. yeah. Dwayne, uh, she spoiled it. Part but it is it. The Exorcist 2, The Heretic. This movie, not so good. I haven't seen it. The so first Exorcist, over. one of the scariest movies ever made. I saw it as a young kid. I'm sorry. Way too young to watch that movie. I saw it two years ago. I saw the, the edited version a long time and ago. And I'm well over 20. I didn't see the <laughs> unedited version. I saw the unedited version in theaters. I'm trying to remember when. It was like 2000. I think it was 2000 that came out in theaters unedited. And I went to the theaters. Shocking. I do go to theaters. It's been a long time. But I saw <laughs> it unedited in theaters. And I own it unedited in my collection. When this came out through Scream Factory, the collector's editions, I wanted no part of this. I was just like, eh, I don't like the movie. I'm not going to get it. Meh. Horror Pack sent it. I'll keep it in the collection so Marie can check it out. If she doesn't like it, then it won't make the case. I'll put it up for sale because I already know I don't care for it. By the way, Windchill did not make the bookshelf from a few videos back. Yeah. I'm all set with that one. I watched it once. One and done. 
Next one. Watch it once and whatever. Okay. Ooh! Shark! I love shark movies. And I love Dolph Lundgren. And it is Shark Lake. A movie that probably not a lot of people know about. But, and I hate to say, I don't really know a lot about it. But, In this lake, you have to yeah. fight to survive. Oh, yeah. That's what the tagline is. But I don't know a lot about this you movie. You sure it's not a hook line? <laughs> Sorry, I, rem I, I remember seeing this at Walmart a while ago. And it intrigued me because, A, like I said in the last movie when I did my Black Friday uh, Best Buy video, I love creature feature films. And anything with sharks, I'm pretty much going to buy it. Well, sooner or later, I will have that movie. Except for the reef because I already got rid of it because it sucked. But this one, I want. I'm going to check it out. Like I said, I love shark movies. I like crocodile and alligator movies. Sharks are my favorite. Next one. Screamfest. As she said, it's a Screamfest Blu-ray DVD combo pack, and it is Sale. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued as well. Never heard of this movie. Brand new, factory sealed. A truly unique and amazing film. You're slacking. A rare thing at times haunting, atmospheric, hilarious, violent, and uh, wholly beautiful. So, like I said, seems intriguing. Just from the cover alone, I'm intrigued. You read that like violently poetically. Well, it's hard. If that makes any sense. Yeah, it's hard. You have to. <laughs> the way uh, you read it. <laughs> I don't know. I like the way you read it. Do the last one. Want me to do the last one? Okay. Yeah. Last one. Get it, Gary. It's a limited edition <laughs> horror pack. And it is Echoes of Fear. Never heard of this movie. But that's the thing with the limited edition Blu-rays. A lot of these, as when this came out, has never been released to Blu-ray. It was probably a DVD at one time, or it's um, an independent film. But it's the Horror Pack limited edition number 41. So I laugh because the scariest movie you've ever screened. Gary sleeping. Oh and yeah. We're talking to a baby monitor. I know. We're filming at night. <laughs> Spoiler. Okay. Anyway. But it looks kind of cool. Looks kind of low budget. But here's the back of it right there. Mm, it does look creepy. Yeah. I'd watch that. Try to get the glare out. There we go. But. Brand new factory seals. Oh yeah. I don't really say brand new factory seal with no. horror pack because everybody knows. It's brand new factory sealed. Marie wants to give it a rub. <laughs> but and that's what he said. That is everything that we got this week. Oh yeah. Marie will hold the Elmo. And two pajamas. And two pajamas that have already been worn. They're hanging in the closet. Mm -hmm. We're not going to show them to you. But here's our little stack. Of stuff that we got. Let me get a little closer. With Arid Extra Drive. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. If you want to sponsor me or uh, <laughs> Cumberland Farms for coffees, <laughs> hey, I'm all over it. All but day. That's all the titles right there. And a little Elmo band. <laughs> that's a little bit more closer for you. <laughs> but pretty cool. Like I said. It's very thick too, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's thick and hard. Just how they like it. <laughs> but that is everything that we got this week. Like I said, thanks a lot to... I like my coffee hot and rich. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so thanks to Dave and Booth Babe Greg. BBG. Yeah, for the stuff that you sent the us. The extra touches Again, and thinking of us. We really appreciate it. Down below in the description, there'll be links for Cinema Sicknesses, YouTube channel, his uh, retro sure. store, as I can't remember what the name of it is it now. It came from Cinema Sickness. That's right, because I'm drawing the blank because it's so late. And uh, I'll leave uh, an Instagram uh, page 
for BBG because still doesn't have a video. You go and say hi and say make a video. Exactly. And show the title that I sent them. <laughs> but, uh, you know, let them know. We're waiting. But in the description will be everything about them. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like, like button. button. If you didn't like it, sorry. We'll try again they next time. Like, they, they don't like our clips. No. They don't like our ridiculousness. No. They didn't Alrighty. Like, they didn't like the Elmo. Well, if you I made it this far. Yeah. Hit the subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You'll have more for, for, for the bell. You'll have more la, from la, us. La, 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 la. <laughs> it's the right time of year. He uh, likes to sing. If you want to leave a comment down below about anything that uh, we showed you, you know, let us know if you've seen uh, Clown Nato or any of the horror packs. You know, we're curious about any and of those. And if Clown Nato doesn't make the shelf? Yeah, it'll be on my Macari store. <laughs> it'll be in the description down below. down in there. Yeah, I have probably about 11 titles sitting over there. I found a few doubles. Yeah, a couple. I have about 11 titles sitting You're over there. you got me here making more rum. That will, didn't make the shelf or that are doubles. So, I'll have new stuff on my Macari page this weekend. So, again, check it out. But until next time, guys, thanks a lot. Thanks. Bye. Bye. That was fun. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys.